my god. It is a hot, sweaty, midsummer day in early April here in the collapse of global industrial civilization here in the great state of Texas here on Saturday afternoon, May 2nd, 2020. So I am uh, holding my open house. It has been a party through here today. Every time I start to do this, somebody else comes up. So here, I barely sit down in the chair. Let's see if they're going to stay or drive on. So while they're making up their mind, uh, you have stumbled into what's left of the obsolete channel of Collapse Chronicles. I am Sam Mitchell, and this is my little co-pilot, Sancho Panza. And we're doing on this hot summer day what we will be doing for about 10 more days. And that is bringing you the various ways the civilization is collapsing. And today, we are going, to, I haven't been over to the South China Sea. It's been a while since I've been to the South China Sea. I have made the prediction that my prediction for World War III uh, will be starting in the South China Sea. It's, been, it's my reading of the tea leaves. Uh, World War III, this is my number one pick. So let's see how World War III is developing. Now I do need to warn you guys, there is a C word, a small C word connection in here. So the C word will be mentioned. So if you're totally offended by the C word, I don't know what to tell you. I guess when I get to it, I will give you the warning that I'm getting ready to mention the C word so you can shut this off. Anyway, I'm good on NBC News a couple of days ago. China says it expelled a U.S. Navy vessel from the South China Sea. This is the Chinese military, quote, the provocative actions of the United States seriously violated relevant international law norms. Yes, and I imagine it did, but about, but of course, while I agree with China, the U.S. could have said the same thing about China. Uh, anyway, what is the latest? <clears throat> China's military has said it expelled a U.S. Navy vessel from the hotly contested waters of the South China Sea this week. It said the USS Barry had illegally entered Chinese Zhisha territorial waters on Tuesday. China's Southern Theater Army Command, quote, organized sea and air forces to track monitor, verify, and identify the U.S. ships, plural, throughout the journey and warned and expelled them. Yes, quote, the provocative actions of the United States seriously violated relevant international law norms, seriously violated China's sovereignty and security interest, artificially increased regional security risks, which it, you better believe it did, and were prone to cause unexpected incidents. That sounds a little bit like a uh, fortune cookie. Prone to cause unexpected incidents, yes. NBC News reached out to American military officials who were not available for comment. Mm. The South China Sea is a potentially, nothing potential about it, the South China Sea is an energy-rich stretch of water and home to more than 200 specks of land. It serves as a gateway to global sea routes where approximately 3.4 trillion dollars of trade passes annually, although I'm not sure it's going to be passing there this year. <clears throat> the numerous overlapping sovereign claims 
to islands, reefs, and rocks, many of which disappear under high tide, have turned the waters into a zone of competing diplomatic interest embroiling neighbors. Beijing holds the lion's share of these features with approximately 27 outposts peppered throughout the South China Sea. Tension has been simmering in the South China Sea of late, particularly between China and its Asian seafaring neighbors, Malaysia and the Philippines. This month, Vietnam also lodged an official protest with China following the sinking of a Vietnamese fishing boat it said had been rammed by a Chinese maritime surveillance vessel near the Paracel Islands. China denied the claims and said the Vietnamese boat had illegally entered the area to fish and refused to leave. Earlier this month, Secretary of State Mike Pompeo told his Southeast Asian counterparts that China, oops, the C word is coming up. Here's a C word warning. Pompeo told his Southeast Asian counterparts that China was taking advantage of the world's preoccupation with the corona panic distraction to push its territorial ambitions in the South China Sea. Quote, Beijing has moved to take advantage of the distraction. Thank you, Mike Pompeo, calling the corona panic a distraction, the single biggest distraction. I'm 60 years old. I have never met a distraction like the corona panic. Anyway, getting back to uh, Sam Mitchell agreeing with Mike Pompeo for the first time in history, Beijing has moved to take advantage of this distraction from China's new unilateral amount announcement of administrative districts over disputed islands, its sinking of a Vietnamese fishing vessel earlier this month, and its research stations, oh yes, its research stations on Fiery Cross Reef and Subi Reef, close quote. Uh, Pompeo also accused China of deploying militarized ships to intimidate other claimant countries from developing offshore gas and oil projects in the region. Last week, the U.S. Navy said it had partnered with the Australian Navy. What is the Australian? Uh, in in, in uh, Britain, it has been sending warships over there too. I mean, we have the U.S., Britain, Australia, uh, all f moving around over there. Last week, the U.S. Navy said it had partnered with the Australian Navy for operations in the South China Sea, which began April 13th. Uh, this is Rear Admiral Fred Catcher, commander of the America, the America Expeditionary Strike Force. How about that? The America Expeditionary Strike Force. Quote, to bring this much combat capability together here in the South China Sea truly signals to our allies and partners in the region that we, meaning the U.S., are deeply committed to a free and open Indo-Pacific. Yes, the U.S. 7th Fleet is the U.S. Navy's largest numbered fleet and routinely conducts operations in, in the Indo-Pacific area. It has said that all of its interactions during freedom of navigation movements have been in accordance with international norms. Don't you love how the way they term this shit? The U.S. Navy has previously stated 
that sweeping maritime claims in the South China Sea posed a serious threat to freedom of the sea and the right of innocent passage to all ships. China has maintained that it has historical sovereign rights in the South China Sea, which neighboring dis countries have disputed in this latest interaction. China said the USA was not acting in line with the wishes of other countries in the region, which want to, quote, maintain peace and stability in that area. Spokesperson Lee um, blah 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 anyway uh, they keep they go in moving uh, talking about the C word uh, for the rest of the article uh, Lee added that Chinese forces would continue to quote resolutely perform their duties in the South China Sea to firmly maintain peace and stability. Yes. What is that? Peace through war. Peace through war in the South China Sea. So it looks to me, guys, uh, that we are definitely, that World War III is doing just fine in the South China Sea, I will stick to my predictions that uh, the South China Sea is where World War III will erupt sometime in the next, oh, certainly 20 years. But anything could happen on this planet in the next 20 years. I think that's safe to say, but anyway, I've got to wrap up uh, today's Chronicle of the Collapse, and uh, I need to uh, start working on my two interviews with uh, Sheldon Solomon. I'm really excited about these, and we will celebrate our second birthday tomorrow on Collapse Chronicles right before we get ready to collapse. We're going to celebrate our second birthday tomorrow with two interviews with uh, Sheldon Solomon. So uh, please treat yourself to those. Bye, guys.